hello guys and welcome back to the channel uh, today we are looking at the street sweeper um, a modified version of the Kraken uh, machine pistol you will get this as a reward for completing the final mission of the striker campaign on neon um, you start that by going to Madame Savage's place and talk to one of the faction members and you'll go through a handful of quests, lots of shooting, lots of entertainment, it's a good little storyline and this is your one of your rewards at the end for completing. Uh, obviously built in silencer, nice little scope, so cracking with a bit more bells and whistles. Uh, five physical damage, rare pistol, so blue so you're going to get one trait. Uh, 25 round magazine, uh, 180 rate of fire, range of 18, so it's a close quarter pistol, 76 accuracy. Uh, three out of the six mods are used already. We're not anywhere near a weapons bench yet, so I can't go through all the mods just yet, but I will cover that when we get there. We are on our way back somewhere, so we will get that. Uh, this one comes with the lacerate for a trait which randomly applies a bleed effect onto your target so they'll slowly lose some health and considering this thing's going to unload ammunition into them they'll probably lose quite a lot of health it's going to be interesting to see um, the mods pre-installed are the ball barrel, the reflex sight and the hair trigger so that's um, a decent sight I'm going to guess that affects the accuracy for the barrel and the reflect. Uh, the head trigger is rate of fire increase, I do believe. Talent points for me are oh, on level 104. This is a ballistic weapon. I do have one point in ballistics, so 10% increase. This is a pistol, so my pistol certification comes into play. That's another 10% increase because I have one point in that. Uh, it's not a laser. Targeting, I have two points. That's hip fire, um, accuracy, and range. Uh, we'll probably be doing a fair bit of hip firing with this, so that will probably come into play. Now, that uh, increases. I'm not sure how much that increases it by. Doesn't actually say. Interesting. Um, two points in reloading so I'll get a 30% increase for reloading speed other than that my combat talents are empty so base that against your own and compare uh, I've done a Kraken video a little while ago it was an alright weapon I I've tried very hard to use it nothing uh, helps if I actually equip it really doesn't it nothing spectacular right about I'm, I'm intrigued to see how the blue variant comes across so this is going to be a good little test we are doing the quest the red mile so it's a gauntlet run with lots of beasts so no human beings here but they are fairly high level um, so the bleed effect should be quite an interesting application here so this is going to be a good little test if you've done the red mile quest before we've literally just pressed the button and we are on our way back. If you haven't done the Red Mile quest yet, it's just a gauntlet and run. You start from up there and you literally run all the way up and there's a button up there. Somebody's throwing something at me. You press that and then you run back. Uh, you get attacked by a lot of beasts. It's nothing really drastic, but they are pretty decent leveled. And I thought it might, might make a nice change for me constantly doing base attacks. So, let's see what this one can do. Let's do some hip firing first. Oh dear. Um, that's bad. And I'm pretty certain I said that about the original Kraken as well. Uh, it's just... It's weak. This is the kind of weapon that should be unloading 25 rounds and dealing damage. Well, let's try the scope. 
doesn't make it any better. A little bit more accurate when you're going down the scope. But you're gonna burn through your ammunition quickly. Towards that. I don't see much in the way of the bleed effect coming into play either. Great, now I have two of them. Burn through my healing potions like this. So the bleed effect did come into play there, but not by a lot. Um, <laughs> I like the site, I will say that, it's a nice site, it's got a good colour, it's got a good view. Uh, aiming down the site does improve the accuracy, there's no question on that. Um, there's not so much of a silencer on it, it looks like a silencer, but... Uh, it's not. It does muffle some of the noise, but not a massive amount. But my biggest problem, it's just the damage. It's just really, really low. I mean, these aren't particularly armoured. They're not particularly strong. And I am burning through ammunition quite rapidly. I think the damage could have been ramped up a bit. I mean, not, I'm not saying that it needs to be a huge amount. I'm, I'm not saying it's got to be the unstoppable machine pistol or anything like that. But I do think it should have been somewhere in the 20s or 30s for what it is. I mean, I'm not suggesting all the Krakens should be upgraded. I'm not, nothing like that, but... When you start messing around with your blues, your purples, and your legendaries, you do expect a certain amount of increase. And this just is, isn't there. Oh now I'm in trouble. Lackluster, that's a good word. I was, I was struggling to think of a, a good word here. But five points of damage, yes, the lacerate does help. There's no question about that, that does do uh, quite a bit of damage. But in its base form, the damage output is just way too low. It's unbalanced. It's a weapon that needs looking at. It needs reworking from Bethesda, I think. It could do with coming up. Um, it certainly needs a, a magazine upgrade. If you're going to be expending ammunition this quickly and doing this little damage, you absolutely need a bigger magazine. And I have burned through nearly a thousand rounds just trying to get here. That's a ridiculous amount of ammunition. For such a little effect, that's a ridiculous amount. That needs to be addressed. It needs to be higher. Um, yeah. It's got its pluses. It's a nice looking weapon. It really does look really good. Uh, like I say, I like the scope. No complaints on that. Um, the barrel looks pretty decent, it seems to uh, keep it nice and stable, but that is almost the only positives I can really give it. I mean, it is accurate when you shoot, there's no question about that, especially when you aim down the sights, the uh, the recoil doesn't mess it over. Mm -hmm. 
what are you standing up there for? But the base, um, the base damage is what's letting this one down. It just it needs to be so much higher. Pardon. Okay. Um, so let's have a look at the uh, upgradable options. Obviously, it comes with three out of six mods used, but you can change those. They're not fixed. So let's start with the barrel. Uh, this one comes with a ball barrel, so that one is a heavier barrel, so it increases accuracy and stability. Fair enough. Uh, you can fit a long barrel instead, which gives you less accuracy. Uh, according to that, it increases the accuracy, but if you look at my accuracy rating when I hover over it, it drops by almost 2%. So, that's kind of silly. Uh, recoil control is increased, and range. Well, no. The range stays exactly the same. So. That's strange. And if you equip the long barrel, you will lose a bit of aim, aim down the sight speed. So. Plus and cons. Yeah, that's right. Uh, you could opt to put the standard barrel back on. You would lose some range there and quite a bit of accuracy. Or you could fit a suppressor which again will lose your range, lose your accuracy but they'll have a harder time hearing you. Uh, for the laser, uh, one option only which is the laser sight which gives you what's that? a 1.3% accuracy increase could well be worth it. E-optics we get two options, uh, iron sights which is the standard or the reflex site which already comes installed. You'd be silly to remove the uh, reflex site in my opinion. The muzzle, uh, the standard muzzle is installed so other options are the muzzle brake which increases long range accuracy and stability at the cost of hip firing accuracy and it does indeed show that it shows an increase in accuracy uh, the larger muzzle brake increases long range accuracy and stability at the cost of hip, hip fire accuracy. It's a tiny upgrade over the muzzle brake. Not overly certain that's worth it, unless you want to go for the look of the thing. Or you can go with the compensator, which increases stability and hip fire accuracy at the cost of long range accuracy. Well, this is not a long range weapon at all. It is absolutely a close range weapon, so. Losing your long range, long range accuracy isn't a problem. And that might help you out quite a bit. Especially when you're hip firing. Um, something to consider. Magazine and battery comes as the standard magazine, so no bells and whistles there. We can change that to a large magazine, which turns it from 25 rounds to 40 rounds. Hugely, hugely important. The gut buster rounds, uh, nasty rounds that upon firing into an enemy explode out the back into a burst of shrapnel, uh, that will increase your physical damage done, which uh, would be welcome and would probably be quite fun. I've never actually tried those, I might give those a go. Or you could fit the drum magazine, which takes your magazine count up to 55 rounds hugely important. Um, if I'm honest, as interesting as the gut buster rounds are, I think the drum or the large magazine would probably be the go-to option there. And lastly, the internal. We get the hair trigger pre-installed. You can just remove it, which apparently will increase the accuracy by 0.1%. Strange. Or we can opt to fit the high power, which increases the damage done, so it's a small increase in damage, and interestingly a small increase in accuracy. Or we can fit the high velocity, which increases accuracy and range. And yeah, it does. It increases the range by about 3%, and the accuracy by almost 2%. So if you want to go for a little bit more range but lose some damage then go for your high velocity. If you want more stopping power then go for high powered or just leave it as the hair trigger. Personal recommendation would be high powered. You'll get a little bit of 
damage, you get a little bit more accuracy, and it doesn't negatively affect your range. Um, again, short range pistol, you don't really need to be extending the range there as long as you're not losing anything. So there we go, those are the options. That is the Street Sweeper. Uh, <laughs> it's a tough one. If pistols and machine pistols are your thing, then this could be something to go for. If you just like collecting weapons, then definitely go do it. I mean, again, it is a fun questline. I'm not taking anything away from the questline. It is really entertaining. Um, but personally, the Kraken is not as good as I had hoped and this is just another variant of it. The lacerate is the only thing that actually adds to this in my opinion. Um, that is worth it, the bleed effect will be the telling thing. If you can get that effect on multiple mobs around you and just pick away at them, you will take them down. But other than that, if machine pistols are something that you like, go for it. If if it's something you've struggled with in, it, in their more base forms, then you're going to continue to struggle here, I think. Again, just my own personal opinions. I'm not saying this is an absolute. Everybody plays differently. Uh, everybody's got their own style. Um, I'm sure somebody actually loves this weapon and thinks it's fantastic. Uh, and if you are one of those people, then do feel free to leave me a comment. But for me, personally, big miss. But I don't regret doing the quest line. I did enjoy the quest line. I've done that one several times now. Um, it's fun. So we'll call that one there. Uh, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thumbs up would be hugely appreciated. Leave me a comment, um, suggestions, criticisms, requests, anything like that. I will try and answer if I can. Um, as always, a huge, huge thank you to my subscribers. Uh, it's very much appreciated for people hitting that button. It's nice to see. Uh, plenty more to come. I've got lots of weapons on the horizon. I'm looking at other games. I'm also looking at getting a Twitch stream up and working for a couple of other games. Um, I've not nailed down all the specifics for that yet, but if that's something you're interested in, listening to me ramble on as I play through some of my favourite games, um, I will be including details once that's all up and working in the descriptions of my videos. So, other than that, I will say goodbye and I will see you all in the next one. Take care.